Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home? And that was Skylar Cole singing the national anthem. A fantastic rendition. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. We'll watch the Orlando Magic in this one as they go up against the Houston Rockets. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. D.A., take it away. Thank you very much. Now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says there's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense. Rest the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe D.A. less is more. And thanks for the report. Here's the starting group for Houston. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. Jayshon Tate out there with Smith. And it's Gordon in at the small forward. And for the Magic. Suggs out there with Wagner. Then there's Van Carroll. Then there's Bull. And it's Carter in at the five, roaming the paint. And on the four tonight. A collection of some of the league's brightest young players. And make no mistake about it, these guys are a work in progress. But the talent is undeniable. Can't wait to see who becomes the alpha dog in this group. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Green against Wagner. To the inside. Here's Suggs. It's rebounded by Houston. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Orlando this season. Yeah, faced off twice last season, and it was a split between the two teams. And that seems about right. Last season was one that both teams would like to forget. They get beat up a lot and couldn't even beat up on each other. And how about Porter Jr.'s court awareness? Excellent job finding the open man with the pass. Passes it to Suggs. Back to Wagner. Carter, the pass to bowl. Just five to shoot. It's stolen by Tate. Pass to Green. Smith with a screen on Carter. From 11 feet away, and it's Smith missing. And Wagner's got the ball here for Orlando. It's a five-point game. Out to the right wing. Suggs with the ball. He's provided them with some scoring punch and is averaging 13 points a game. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Green, the pass to Porter. Tate gets to Smith. The dish to Green. No good with the layup. 
those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now, here's Wagner coming off 31 points last game. Suggs passes to Van Carroll. Five to shoot. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. Tries again, and he sinks the way up. Carter's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. And Wendell Carter Jr., Greg, one of the better rebounders in the NBA. And, Kevin, his numbers kind of sneak up on you. I mean, great job of clearing the glass and getting the break started. Still underrated as a rebounder, but is making a name for himself. Houston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Gordon with the screen for Green. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Green's got five now. Green is just such a fluid and natural scorer, and he continues to improve his game. Suggs kicks to Bancaro. Down low, pocket six, and then Carter with the jam. And out of pick and roll, Carter does a great job of positioning himself for catch and finish opportunities. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Here's Green. Lays it up off the glass. Green. He's got seven. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Now, here's Suggs, guarded by Porter. Now, here's Van Carroll. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. Rockets leading by three. Now, Green. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And guys, how about the job Jalen Green has done? Living up to that second overall pick. He sure is. Had a great rookie year last year, and he is looking to build on that success. Had a tremendous year in all facets of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Green. Richard, if there's one thing the Rockets want to emphasize this year, it's defense. Yeah, no question. They've been one of the worst defensive teams in the league the past few seasons. To turn your fortunes around, you got to focus on defense. It's the most important thing. And both free throws good for Green. And with that lightning first step of Jalen Green, very few defenders have a chance of keeping him in front. Here sucks. Wagner outside. Pass to Carter. Back to Wagner. Carter outside. Over in the corner. Van Carroll. Over Gordon. And it's Van Carroll missing. And Greg, one thing about that winding speed of Green, he's got to make his reads faster as well. I, I think the game is slowing down for him, though, Kevin. And that and speeding up his shot release uh, will make him even tougher to deal with. Here's Suggs following the basket by Jalen Green. Inside, here's Wagner. And finish off by Wagner. And what can you say about Suggs? A natural-born leader, very unselfish, and great vision. Green against Wagner. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Suggs with the ball. Porter's there. And it goes down two points. Bigger than your average guard, Suggs can score all around the floor, including down low. And here is Green. He's got 13. 
And Houston again with the bucket. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. The Magic trail by seven. Suggs with the ball. And there's the pass to Ben Carroll. There's the lob to the hoop. And he lays in the alley -oop. And how about the shot selection for Suggs? He's a solid finisher. Brings so much to the table. Green inside. He's defended by Wagner. And so the ball's out of bounds. Wagner touched it last. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for him. Porter. And you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. A deep three from Green. Got it off in time and beat the shot clock, but it's no good. Now Suggs passes to Ben Carroll. And he drives in. Got that one on the move. Now just a three-point rocket lead. I know what they say, defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Green passes to Porter. Outside Gordon. Screen by Smith. Let's it go from deep, and Gordon hits from deep. And the Rockets lead by six. It's so many of Gordon's shots come from three-point range because he drains so many of them. When, when you've had his kind of success from beyond the arc, you're always going to have the green light. Now, here's Wagner. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Just four to shoot. They get it back. Another shot. Here's Bull. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And like his father, Manu, Bowles' combination of size and scoring is very unique. The, the key for him is just staying healthy. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Houston. And that one misses. You know, almost every team has some kind of roster turnover in the offseason. So, Greg, this time of year can be about getting familiar with your new teammates. Yeah, and there's always a feeling out process this early in the schedule. It's about finding your team's identity, figuring out how all the pieces are going to fit. Here's what Orlando's going with right now. Mohamed Bamba, he's checked in for Carter. Okiki comes in for Bancaro. Harris is checked in for Franz Wagner. And it's Hampton for Jalen Suggs. Here's Christopher. Martin for three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. The Magic trail by eight. Here's Hampton. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Martin. Pulls up. Christopher, no good. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. He dishes it to Matthews. Pass to Christopher. It's Matthews on the wing. Four on the clock. Houston needs to get a shot. Off. Martin from outside. He doesn't hit that one. The Magic go the other way with it. Over to the wing. And here is Hampton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Back to Harris. For Martin. Harris, no good. Rockets leading by eight. Pass to Christopher. Shangun with the ball. He's against Bamba. 
Bamba with the block. Oh, the main weapon in Bamba's attack, the slender long arms he possesses, helps him block lots of shots. Now, here's Hampton. To the paint. Here's Bull. The Rockets pull it in. Coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. Yeah, if you allow a team to shoot such a high percentage in their own building, you're going to have a big hill to climb. And the Rockets with possession here, following the miss by Bull Bull. A minute 42 left in the first. Hampton with the ball. And the pass to Bull. Here's Okiki. To stop the drought. That doesn't go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50 50 balls also going their way. Pass to Christopher. And here is Shangun. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Here's Hampton. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the magic right now, missing that franchise player might have one of their young talents develop into that but currently they lack that star no good on that one terrence ross has checked in for bowl And the second free throw, good. Houston leading by nine. There's 42 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Christopher. Rebounded by Hampton. He makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Oh, terrific work finishing a soft move like that. The finger roll. He shot two free throws in the game, made one, and missed one. At the line for the R.J. Hampton. At the line for one. Free throw drops for Hampton. Here's Christopher. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Stolen by Bamba. Now, here's Hampton. Guarded close. Bamba finds Ross. Bamba setting the pick for Ross. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And so it's the Houston Rockets with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And we'll be back with you shortly. so far halfway through the first half in this one and looking at what we've seen from Houston what do you guys think 
Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Yeah, they're putting pressure on all the ball handlers, getting into the passing lanes and showing great anticipation. And Wagner's got the ball here for the Magic. They trail by six. At the forward position, it's Wagner and Ben Carroll. Suggs out there with Terrence Ross. And it's Carter in at the five down low. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Magic. Now, here's Ben Carroll. Count it. His second make in four attempts. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Here's Tate. Can't connect from short range. Magic shooting 47% from a four. Getting it done. Bancaro dishes to Suggs. Pass to Bancaro. And he banks in the lane. Bancaro's got four this quarter. I just love when teams make it work down low. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, guys. Now, Jalen Green is on a mission. He says, every time I step on the floor, I always have something to prove to who's ever in those stands. A lot of people will hate on me or have their opinions. I'm just going to think about that when I step on the floor. I'm going to prove everybody wrong. Kevin? That's a great chip to keep on his shoulder. David, thanks. Now, here's Suggs. After Eric Gordon's miss, five on the clock. And it's all evened up. Suggs has got six points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Porter kicks to Smith. To the middle. Here's Tate. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you can give up some size, but that shows you how fearless he is, willing to attack the basket no matter who is in front of him. Now, here's Ben Carroll. He's got six. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. And there's already a loyalty aspect to Ben Carroll's makeup, starting with the tribute to the city he grew up in. He literally takes Seattle everywhere he goes. You look at the tat on his right bicep. It has the Seattle skyline, Mount Rainier, the street he grew up on in terms of his character. That indicates deep roots and a solid foundation he can build on. Tate with the screen for Smith. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Paulo Bancaro. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. And Jabari Smith, of course, with deep family ties, Greg, to the NBA. His dad being the OG, Jabari. Take a break. All these Take guys are in that 6'10", 6'11", range. So great bloodlines. Real good, Smith. Boy, this hurts to have to bring up, but I was there for the Rockets title winning days back in 94 when I was with the Knicks. I saw Houston in the finals firsthand. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Back-to-back -back titles for the Rockets in the mid-90s. You were just talking about that. Greg, what sticks out to you about those teams? First and foremost, the dream. Uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, he doesn't get his due at times, but the dream is one of the all-time greats. Olajuwon's defense really changed games. An elite prospect with very few holes in his game. Bancaro can score from all three levels, makes plays for others. Terrific rebounder, and the list goes on and on. That free throw, good from Bancaro. And he scouts at Bancaro as the safest pick in the draft. 
Uh, would you agree? He and maybe Jabari Smith Jr. What separates Boncaro a little, he's an elite back to the basket score. Those guys have become increasingly harder to find. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Pass to Carter. Down low. And it's not a bounce. They say it was last touch by Carter. And we get a chance to check out the numbers for Porter. He's averaging about 19 points per, six rebounds, and five assists. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. Yeah, not playing outside himself, but finding lots of chances that do his thing and affect the game. Now, here's Green. He had a 21 point out there last game against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. And a big part of that was his aggressiveness drawing contact and getting to the line. Here's Suggs following the basket by Jabari Smith. Suggs passes to Wagner. Van Carroll with the ball. Working on tape. Van Carroll, that's good. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Outside Porter, and it's slammed in by Smith. A whole oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Van Carroll a screen for Suggs to the inside. It's stolen by Tate. Outside Green. Smith outside. Misses the three. Oh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now, here's Suggs. Six points for him. Porter against Wagner. Over in the corner, Bancaro. Carter with a screen on Gordon. Van Caro to Carter. It's good. And it's eight points for Wendell Carter. Bully ball at its finest there. Carter Jr. brings a physical presence to this team. Now here's Green. He's got 15. There's the pass to Tate. And the turnover again by Orlando. And let's take this chance to look at some of the perimeter players who aren't afraid to mix it up in the middle either. These are the top rebounding point guards in the league. You take a look at Porter. He does a great job inside. One of the top rebounders in the league. And it may not be the first thing you think about, but if you look at a lot of the all-time great point guards, their rebounding, that, that nose for the basketball, is a big part of their game. And these guys have that same nose for the ball. These are some scrappy players. They can hold their own in the paint with anyone. Now, here's Suck. He's provided them with some scoring punch and is averaging 13 points a game. 